Hi! Before we can start simulating programs for ourselves, we'll need to learn how to use Tinkercad, which is the online platform we'll use to build virtual circuits. Let's go! To get to Tinkercad, we navigate to Tinkercad.com. If you've taken courses on CodeHS previously, you may notice this is a bit different. In this course, you'll be developing and testing programs in Tinkercad and the Arduino editor, and once you've successfully completed an exercise, you'll copy and paste your code into the CodeHS editor for your teacher to grade. Let's explore the Tinkercad platform now. When you first get to the main Tinkercad page, you'll need to log in. To do this, click the Sign In button at the top of the screen. Once at the login screen, click the green Students Join Your Class button you'll be prompted to enter a class code. You'll need this code every time you sign into Tinkercad, so make sure you write it down somewhere. When you click Go to My Class, you'll need to enter your nickname. This should be provided by your teacher. Once you click That's Me, you'll be directed to your homepage. Throughout this class, we'll be creating circuits, so we'll click that button on the left-hand bar and click Create New Circuit. This is where you'll build all of your programs, so let's take a quick tour. This big gray space on the left is where you will drag components to build your circuits. We grab components from the library on the right-hand side of the screen. We're always going to need an Arduino in our exercises, so let's scroll down and grab one now. When a component is selected, a box with various options will pop up. The available options will be different for each component. When a component is selected, we can also click this button to spin our component. There's no way to spin back the other direction, so we can either keep spinning it until it reaches the starting position again, or just click this back button. If you'd like to leave yourself any notes, you can do that by clicking this notepad symbol and typing in here. All Tinkercad programs will default to pretty silly names, so to change the name to something descriptive, simply click the title here, and I'll name this one Blinking LED. Let's drag in an LED and a resistor. I want to connect the LED's long leg to pin 5, so I'll click the long leg and then click a wire will automatically connect them for me. I can change the color of the wire here. I want to also connect the short leg to one side of my resistor. Note that it does not matter which side of the resistor is connected here. The last thing I need to do to complete my circuit is connect the other side of the resistor to one of the ground ports. Let's make that wire black. Now, my circuit is complete and it will work, but if I want to organize my image a bit, I can double click on any point of a wire and it will allow the wire to bend. I always like to keep my components outside of the Arduino device so that everything is organized. You'll be building many circuits throughout this course, both virtually using Tinkercad and physically using your Arduino device. Before you are asked to use each component, I'll provide you with some information about what the component is called, what it looks like, what it does, and any other important notes. Let's take a look at the first components we'll be using in this lesson. Our first component is an LED, or light emitting diode. LEDs produce light of different colors. One important note about LEDs is that they have a long leg and a short leg. You may have to look carefully to tell which leg is shorter, but it is important to pay attention to which leg is which when connecting LEDs in your circuits. Many LEDs require a resistor to be used in conjunction with them, so let's take a look at what a resistor is. A resistor is used to reduce current flowing through a circuit or component. Resistors use different colored bands to depict their resistance value. We won't discuss how the color code works in this course, but you'll be able to change the resistance value in your simulated circuits in Tinkercad, and your teacher will provide you with the correct strength resistors for your physical circuits. Resistors can be connected in your circuit in either direction. Now it's your turn to explore the Tinkercad platform on your own.